Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Cal Poly Mustangs roster. And after that, we're going to take a look at their Season 1 schedule for our upcoming FCS Dynasty. And without further ado, here are your Cal Poly Mustangs. Quarterback Eric Spears Jr. is the first player on Cal Poly. 6'4", 215-pound athletic quarterback. Another quarterback on the roster, Alexander Connor. He's a raw quarterback. So we will have a quarterback competition going on in the spring game for the Cal Poly Mustangs. At halfback, there's Raul Lozano III, raw, number 6. He's 5'10", 190 pounds. And Desrind Lewis, wide receiver. 5'11", 190 pounds. He is a raw talent. Another wide receiver, Malik Higgins, number 11. 6'4", 218 pounds. Athletic. He's going to be fun to watch this coming season. And to round out the offense for the Mustangs, we have left guard, Dan Williamson. He's 6'5", 344 pounds. He's a raw talent. So he'll be pretty good at run blocking and pass blocking this upcoming season for the Mustangs. Now let's take a look at the defense and then I'll go back through and do a complete rundown of my thoughts on the roster. Well, let's take a look at that defense. They've got a defensive end, Demarius Lamache. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that correct. Number 90, 6'5", 270 pounds, raw talent. Then they go defensive tackle with Greg Ford. And then another defensive tackle. So Cal Poly's got a really strong defensive line. Cornerback, Joseph Lozano. Raw talent and free safety Ralph William, 6'2, 210 pounds, athletic. Head coach is Raul Lozano, our first user head coach. And my thoughts on this roster are we're gonna have a nice quarterback competition in the spring game. Now, for all the spring games, I'm just gonna do the first two quarters of a game and tally up the stats, see which players look the best, and go from there. There's definitely some holes on this team. Having two quarterbacks really kind of holds them back a little bit. You know, there's only three targets for the quarterbacks to throw the ball to or hand the ball off to. So there's not a lot of weapons for Eric Spears Jr. or Alexander Connor in this offense. But their defense, they're going to get solid pressure on quarterbacks throughout the year. And they've got two defensive backs, no linebackers, so that might hold them back a little bit in regards to the run game, but it might not as well because of the solid defensive line that they've got. But all in all, I think it's a pretty solid team for head coach Raul Lozano. And we're gonna take a look at their upcoming schedule and just see how difficult it's gonna be for the Mustangs in season one. And here we are with season one schedule. Cal Poly will start the season traveling to take on the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers of the Mountain West Conference. Game 2, they have a home game against the Murray State Racers, another Mountain West Conference team. Game 3, they will take on Villanova from the Big Ten. Game 4, they travel to Idaho State to take on the Bengals, and that starts off their Pac-12 Conference play. Game 5, they take on another subscriber team, the San Diego Toreros. That's the second Pac-10 game of the season for them. Game 6, home game versus the Portland State Vikings. And Game 7, another home game, this time against the Northern Arizona Lumberjacks. Game 8, they will be taking on the Northern Colorado Bears. So we will see the CPU battle it out that game. The following week after that is a home game against the Sacramento State Hornets. Another Pac-10 matchup. Game 10. The Southern Utah Thunderbirds come to town. Another one of our teams filled with subscribers. Game 11, they host the Columbia Lions from the Big East. Game 12, the final game of the season for the Cal Poly Mustangs. They will travel to take on the Eastern Washington Eagles. And that will finish off their Pac-10 play for the year. I'm not sure how this season's going to go for them. They've got, what, three different teams from our dynasty in there that they got to play. Well, there's never really any easy victories, especially in video games. But I think the Cal Poly Mustangs might win six or seven games in year one. I do think having two quarterbacks is going to hold them back a little bit. 
and I think that's really what's going to be the deciding factor on their season. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments section below how you think the Cal Poly Mustangs will do in year one under head coach Raul Lozano. And our next roster reveal and schedule reveal will be the Dayton Flyers. They were the champions of our FCS North Tournament. That one will be out Saturday or Sunday most likely. I haven't decided yet. It's all about finding the free time to do it. Since I do work a full-time job, 50 hours a week. And I also put 25 to 30 hours of work into my YouTube channel every week as well. So I'm a busy guy. But I will try to get these videos out to you guys as quick as possible. I also don't want to rush the product and have it be subpar. But anyway, I've rambled on for far too long. So go ahead, comment down below what you think of this team's roster and the schedule. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more Houston Texans franchise in Madden 2003. Take it easy, guys.